Hey there! Today we'll be talking about this pen. The pen was sent to me by Ron from the Pen Chalet, penchalet.com. And this is a pen I was really excited about to, to see if I could try it out. Um, it is the Monteverde One Touch Stylus Fountain Pen. There's also a ballpoint version, but this is the fountain pen. You know me, I like the fountain pens. Um, it, I think it's, it's super cool because we have to face one fact men are kids. Uh, I know it's true, and so I'm not going to lie about it, men are kids. So you get the little cardboard box, um, you get an invitation to register your new pen at Monteverde, uh, or actually from Yafa, um, that's the US distributor of Monteverde, if I'm not mistaken. mistaken. Uh, you get a little instruction sheet, which is actually useful for this pen, I'll, I'll show you why, and then you have a little bit of a history on Monteverde on the inside, that's actually useful. Uh, way of, uh, a good way to use resources, I think, and you clip the pen on there. Now, the pen is extremely cool uh, because it has so many nifty gadgets on there. It's called Tool Pen for a reason, and uh, I'm going to cover the features. Now, in this case, there actually will be a couple of things I can discuss more than just, well, this is the barrel, this is the center band. I think this is a really cool pen feature. First of all, it's hexagonal, so the cross section. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it actually has six sides, which is quite cool. Now, a couple of features that you will find on here are, first of all, the capacitive tip. Uh, that's just something you can use for your touchscreen. So if you have a phone, of course I should have taken this out in advance, but uh, here we have my phone. As you can see, you can do stuff on there, which is quite cool. Uh, I like that that a lot on a, a pen because you carry the pen anyway, you may as well use it for iPads, phones, anything with a touch screen, which is quite cool. But that is not nearly where this pen ends. Okay, then it has rulers on it. Clearly they're not very long because it's a pen, but here you got four inches. Uh, here you have, these are one hundredths of a meter, so these are uh, ten centimeters. And then you have one two hundredths of a meter. Uh, so uh, I, I have never used any scale like that and uh, I'm not a carpenter or anything, I'm not very good at those sorts of things. And then you have one three hundredth of a meter. And because this um, pen is hexagonal, you can actually lay, lay it flat and use it for measuring stuff, which is very cool. Um, then you have the clip, which is nice, works well, springy but not too springy. I find that a very uh, pleasant way uh, to, to, to have the clip on there because it's, uh, it's a good way to, to just stick it into your shirt. Let me see. It will not rip your shirt pocket off and it will slip in very nicely and easily. Very well done. Uh, then, of course, we have the actual nib, but we're not there yet. There is a level in the barrel which is super cool um, and you can screw off this capacitive tip to reveal one magnetic micro bit um, this is the flat head and then on the other side oh wait I don't think I'm not sure what they're magnetic actually I think they just pop in place with a little round thing you have a small Phillips screwdriver so with this pen you are a freaking MacGyver, and you can just construct a whole house with just a fountain pen. Or maybe that's mildly exaggerated, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that it is a super cool design. The pen, this is the cap. It looks very tool-like. You have this nice uh, knurled section. And you take this off, and then you get the nib. The nib uh, is a fairly simple nib, um, and it says the ominous words Iridium Point Germany. However, I found this to be a really nice nib. Uh, is it superb? No. Is it scratchy? Not really. It has good flow. It's not scratchy. It's a very, very decent nib. And it's a $50 pen. So don't think that it is, I mean, it's not gold, it's just steel. Yes, it's Iridium Point Germany, but it, it's really, it's not bad. Okay, now how do you fill this baby? You take this bit and you just pull it gently out of 
the actual barrel. It comes with a cartridge. No, I, I think it came with a cartridge. I'm not sure you can fit in standard international short cartridges, but I just took a Monteverde mini converter, which you cannot use fully extended. Uh, if you extend the, the, this piston completely, then it will not fit because of the level that's in the barrel. Um, but if you do it up to about this point, and that still holds quite a bit of ink, uh, then you can put it in, and there's no problem, and it works. Uh, it has little arrows on there. I think that's a pretty nifty little system. But what's really beautiful about this is that um, I don't have an ink cloth here, but what you can do is you can just rotate this bit because this is just friction fit it doesn't screw in and then you can align the nib so imagine that you have that my arm is the pen barrel and this is the nib you can rotate it like that so you can adjust it to your writing angle and that I think is a super cool feature the Parker 75 had that uh, but they I'm not sure whether they did that intentionally in this pen but it is quite cool so you can make it align with any of the rulers or because it is hexagonal you really have to put your fingers on the flat bits of the pen otherwise it doesn't feel comfortable but then you can just rotate the nib um, I, I probably have a, a napkin here I can use that just to show you because I don't want to get a lot of ink on my fingers here um, but you see you see what the nib alignment is now and I turn it around, see now it's completely rotated. And it's not, it doesn't get any looser. Uh, if you just hold the threads, uh, you're not actually pulling the nib out. So that's really quite cool. Um, so, that's the pen. I think I've covered all the parts. Sip of tea. Now, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, what I like about it, look at all the features. I say again, men are kids. We love this kind of type of stuff. Um, it has a level. It's a fountain pen with a freaking level and micro bits. I mean, come on, that's cool. Uh, the yellow tool-like color, super cool, $50, yeah. Okay, what do I not like about it? The nib could be better. Yes, it could be wetter, it could be smoother. Um, I really didn't think it was terrible. Invest a couple of minutes in maybe smoothing it a little bit, making it a little bit wetter, and you have a perfect nib. So I think that's really cool. Um, Something else I don't like about it, well, clearly it's a gadgety pen. You can't take this 100% seriously. You won't take this to a business meeting. I know you can't, but it just looks cool. It, this metal, it feels robust. It's well made. Uh, the one thing I will notice is that, as I said, hexagonal, that means you have to put your fingers on there correctly. And for me, writing for a long time gets a bit unpleasant. There is no real section. The pen barrel is the section. No problems with that. You can hold it as highly as you like. But those flat bits, the flat facets they can get a little irritating at some point but hey live with it it's a cool pen uh, it's a gadget you can measure stuff with it you can screw things in place you can see if your desk is level what more could you wish for I think we're going to take a couple of measurements but stay tuned because I have an interesting message about if you want to buy this pen okay it's completely capped it is exactly about well it's just it's just a little bit over six inches, so I would say 6.2, that's about 154 millimeters or something. Not 6.2, 6.03, I think. So about 154 millimeters, uh, uncapped. Whoops, I dropped the cap. Uncapped. That capacitive tip, of course, is dent a little bit because it's soft. So, it's a little hard to measure, but okay. Give or take a few millimeters, it is about 151 millimeters uncapped. Section diameter, there is no real section, so I'll just I'll go from one flat uh, facet of the barrel to another. That's exactly one centimeter in diameter, 10 millimeters. Um, now we want to know the weight. Well, it is all metal, as I said, and it weighs about, well, say about 35 grams. Cool pen. I love it. If you want to buy this, go to penchalet.com and use the code SBREBROWN, just like my username on YouTube, and then you'll get a 15% discount, not just on this pen, but any pen on the Pen Chalet. Now, that code at some point will expire, but right now it's February 2014, and it is still full on. So if you want to buy the pen, I would do it there, because 15% discount isn't bad. Guys, I hope this was useful. I thank Ron for sending me this pen, and um, 
writing sample, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Monteverde One Touch Tool Pen. The nib is medium and the ink is De Atramentis Magic Unicorn. The paper is Claire Fontaine. Okay, let's do a bit of writing. And then a bit of fast writing. You see that the feet keeps up pretty well. <clears throat> there was a bit of a skip there, but apart from that, <clears throat> it seems to do really well. Um, the nib is not excessively dry. Maybe to my taste it could be a little bit wetter, but it's definitely not excessively dry. Um, I think that might <clears throat> be beneficial for the skipping behavior if it would be a little bit wetter, but you know that's also personal preference, of course. How about line variation? You see, you can push the nib quite a bit, but it starts to railroad. And that too suggests to me that it could be a little bit wetter. Um, which is a pity, because I think you could get some pretty nice steel semi-flex out of this, but you see it, the pen runs dry very quickly. Um, so that is something I would probably tune up a little bit. Um, when I would be writing with this. Now finally we'll do some reverse writing and there the pen performs remarkably well because it is relatively wet and it's definitely a finer line than normal writing. So, an interesting pen, a lot of nifty gadgets and stuff on there which I think is, uh, is, is pretty cool. Um, I, uh, I thank the Pen Chalet uh, for sending me this pen. Um, thank you very much. I hope this review was useful to everyone. Don't forget that uh, special reduction code which you can use at penchalet.com um, Guys, I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye.